how to say no to people. This week I was asked by two different people how to say no to people. And so I decided to do a video on it. You're watching it now. <laughs> And before we dive right in, I would like to tell you that I have actually made a whole free lesson on the topic of how to stop people pleasing, how to say no, and how to be powerfully you. It's an hour long video lesson that you can just watch for free if you follow the link that's down below this video um, in the description box. So you're welcome to see that. And for now, um, Let's start. <laughs> I feel that a really important thing to tell you is that it's so important to take your time. You really deserve to take your time. So someone asks you something, like maybe they invite you to something or they are asking for your help and you want to say no. Or maybe you don't even know what you want. You're more like, ah, I have to say yes, I have to say yes. And you don't even really check in with yourself. What do I want? And that's the moment to check in with yourself. If that sounds super duper difficult, just start out with giving yourself like five seconds, you know, five seconds longer than usually to check in with yourself. And saying, learning to say no to people is a very difficult one that will take some time. I would really like to encourage you to take your time. So maybe a first step for you is to take those five seconds and five seconds can seem like a long time when there is someone right in front of you waiting for you to say yes. <laughs> so then that's your victory. And if you say yes anyway afterward, <laughs> while you checked in with yourself and felt no, <laughs> <laughs> then at least, you know, you do have um, made that victory of checking in with yourself for five seconds. Because um, so often we say yes, before we know it, we've said yes. And then only later we feel that actually what we really wanted to say was no. So we really need to take our time. And we also really deserve to take our time. What might help you with taking your time is to um, remind yourself of the fact that it's not in anyone's best interest if you are saying yes while actually you wanted to say no. It definitely seems as if it's in the best interest of the person you're saying yes to because they are asking for your help because they want your help or they're inviting you because they want to you know, have you there at the party or whatever it is, or maybe they want to kiss you. Um, yeah, sure, it's what they want. But on the other hand, would they really want that from you if you're actually not feeling it? I don't know if you've ever <laughs> tried making love to someone, for example, who actually didn't want to <laughs> be made love to by you. <laughs> Or if you've ever had a friend coming to your party while you were kind of thinking like, why are you even here? You don't enjoy this. Or someone reluctantly helping you. Doesn't feel nice, does it? So then why, why would it be good for them if you would say yes while you actually feel no? <laughs> And then it also seems as if it's in your best interest to say yes while you want to say no. But this is not the case either. I mean, you do know that. But you also kind of believe a little bit of you, some part of you says, I don't want to be rejected. Or this is super awkward if I'm going to say no. Or this is super awkward if I'm going to take my time to think about it. And you just don't want that awkwardness or you don't want them to get angry or you don't want them to get disappointed. And that's why it seems in your best interest to say yes. So yeah, some part of that is true. Um, 
but even more your best interest <laughs> is of course, you know, to start having really um, authentic relationships with the people you love and to live a life in which you do what you want to do and don't do what you don't want to do. I'm sure you know that because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, but you just need to remind yourself of that. So it's really in everyone's best interest if you take your time to say no or just to feel what you want to say. And maybe you want to check in with yourself and after a minute you feel that actually you really want to say yes. That's great. And maybe you feel like, oh, you actually really want to say no. And then comes the next hard moment, actually saying no. And I've had a hard time with learning to say no myself. And honestly, the moments when I actually started to say no to people, it often felt like I was kind of dropping a bomb. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> and it felt like everyone would start, every, everything would explode, you know. <laughs> but you'll see that if you um, get some experience with saying no to people and be patient with yourself, you know, sometimes you say yes anyway, but it's cool. The more and more you say no, the more and more you manage to have these victories of saying no when you feel no, you'll also notice that nothing is going wrong. Like the world is not ending when you dare to say no. Like, What's the worst thing that can happen? That someone might start disliking you. But that's someone you don't have a match with anyway. So maybe it's better that you let your um, relationships develop differently when you start to say no. So there might be people you will start seeing less often. But on the other hand, there might be other people who might start liking you more. So yes, you are changing and so your relationships are changing. That's normal. And of course, it might come with a little bit of grief if you lose a friend, for example. But it's really for the best that you say no when you want to say no, so that actual, authentic, deep loving relationships can develop in your life. So to summarize, mm -hmm. take your time. You can actually ask someone like, I want to think about that for a moment or I need to feel for a moment. Um, you can ask, can I, can I please tell you later whether I feel yes or no? You can take your time and then just start saying no whenever you feel a no. <laughs> and be patient with yourself. You don't have to do it right from now on all the time. You don't have to judge your process like that. There will be progress. But it might not be perfect tomorrow. And that's not a problem. That's not your fault. You're not wrong for that. So just take your time with yourself too. <laughs> So if you want to know more, if you want to have get, get more like help and guidance on this, just follow that link in the description box or below this video that will guide you to my lesson. It's a free lesson um, and it's called Stop People Pleasing, Be oh Say No and Be Powerfully You. <laughs> So I hope to see you there and um, I'll post a new video every two weeks. So, and if you have any questions for me that you would like me to answer, you can let me know.